Have you ever wondered how the SEC missed the signs on the stock market? How could they have overlooked the unfolding situation with FTX? It's baffling to think that a company could operate as a broker, dealer, and clearinghouse simultaneously, all while sharing profits among the same entities, yet escape regulatory scrutiny? It begs the question. Were they asleep at the wheel? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. So you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert, this is not a financial advice video. Let's delve deeper. Can you name other companies in the stock market that offer brokerage services while also serving as clearinghouses with significant influence across all these sectors? The level of integration and influence is staggering. Now let's talk about automation. Did you know that there are reports suggesting Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC, once applied to advise Binance, but was rejected? The implications of this are intriguing to say the least. It makes you wonder about the motivations behind certain decisions and the relationships at play within the industry. Moving on to a pressing matter, upcoming capital requirements and stress tests in the banking sector. While the focus has largely been on new capital requirements, recent confirmation from a bank CEO indicates that stress tests are also on the horizon. What does this mean for banks? Well, they're facing a tough choice. Either raise more capital, which comes at a hefty cost, or cut back on lending. Reducing lending would mean shrinking their balance sheets significantly, leading to a decrease in revenues and, inevitably, expectations. This could have ripple effects throughout the financial sector, potentially resulting in layoffs. It's a grim outlook for the industry, but it could serve the Federal Reserve's agenda. High unemployment rates historically correlate with lower inflation, and Jerome Powell seems keenly aware of this. In fact, during recent hearings, Elizabeth Warren pressed Powell on the necessity of sacrificing jobs to combat inflation. His response, a resigned acknowledgement that sometimes tough decisions must be made, even at the expense of employment numbers. It's a delicate balancing act for Powell and the Fed. While they strive to rein in inflation, they must navigate the human cost of their actions. As history has shown, the road to lower inflation often comes at the expense of widespread job losses. It's a sobering reality that policymakers must confront as they chart the course ahead. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.